Hello again. Uh, so here's another exercise of using the binomial probability distribution. Uh, this time a little bit different than what we've looked at before. Uh, here we're going to look at um, hiring strategies. Right from an employer's perspective, you want to hire so many employees. You know that uh, over some period of time you're going to lose some of them. For example, if you're wanting to hire employees before the holiday rush in December. You want to make sure you have them for a few months so you can train them before the coming season. Um, but you're going to lose some. So you want to make sure you hire enough so that by the time the busy rush of uh, the holiday season comes, you've still got enough there to, uh, to work and are well trained. So, okay, enough of <laughs> my babbling on. Uh, so here we have a high level of employee turnover in the retail industry. Uh, largely due to the fact that it's a common university student job. So experience has shown that uh, we have about a 30% uh, turnover. We lose 30% of our new hires within four months. So assume the manager hires 10 students in August. Okay, so here that's our number of trials in, in the context of, of a binomial experiment. Here n is equal to 10. And of those 10, some will stay and some will leave. Now, this might sound counterintuitive, but to keep it in the context of this problem, uh, let's, let's denote our success. So here we are call K is uh, our, our success. In this case, K is uh, a, a, a leave, or, or K is number of new hires Oops, new hires who leave. So this is what I mean. It sounds a little counterintuitive, but it'll just be easier because this is the probability that we have uh, to work with. 30% leave, uh, so K will be the number of departures uh, that we're going to work with. So our probability of success, in other words, uh, of, uh, of a new hire leaving, uh, here is going to be 0.3. 0.30. Okay, so we have, uh, what's the probability in part A, what's the probability that at least three of the new hires will quit within their first four months? So at least, so that means uh, we're going to look at the probability of three, four, five, on and on and on, uh, nine and ten. So that would be that would be the probability of at least three uh, of our new hires leaving. That can be a very long uh, problem to do by hand because we know that for each of these probabilities, so the probability of K successes, if I have N trials, K successes, so that's the factorial, or the, the number of combinations using the factorial operator, and times the probability associated with each of those. So the formula, oops, the formula is a little bit daunting and looks something like this. And if we were to expand it, it's even more daunting. Uh, something like this. So when you're faced with this type of problem, especially one that's looking for a range, so it says at least, the next one too says at least, um, it can be a long computation because you need to add up the probabilities of all possible values that satisfy that range. So for a problem like this, uh, it's a lot easier if you can use the binomial distribution tables because then I can just list out, I can just identify all of those different probabilities and then we just have to add them together. So this is really an exercise in using the binomial distribution tables. So I'm going to pull up my table and uh, so again we it's a big table. There's a few pages to it so we need to identify what part of this table is really relevant for our particular problem. So the first thing that I'm going to do, well my, my number of trials is 10. So the very first column on my table uh, has the number of trials of so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and it goes up to 8 again. So, okay, here I have uh, 10 trials, but my probabilities are wrong. 
0.01234. So I'm going to go down to the next page where here I also have 10 trials. So that's consistent with the experiment that we're doing. And now that first row that contains probabilities, I see, okay, there's my relevant probability for this problem. 10 trials, probability of success is 0.3. So the numbers that I'm interested in are really right here. I've got this one row, sorry, this column of values. So for the very first probability, so this is F, the probability associated with three successes out of N trials. Uh, 10 trials. So here's 10 trials. Here's three successes. That probability uh, of, a, of a success for each is 0.2. Uh, sorry, the probability of three successes out of 10 trials is 0.2668. So here we have our first value, 0 0.2668. That would be the probability of exactly uh, three out of those ten new hires quit uh, over the next four months. Now, we add to that the probability that maybe four uh, of those new hires will leave. So that's 0.2001. Oops. 2001 plus the probability of five. Oops, wrong one. So 5, here I am, 0.1029, plus the probability for 6, oh my goodness, I keep picking up the wrong one here, here we go, probability of 6, so 0 0.0368. and on and on and on. So all we actually need to do here is look up in our table and we're going to add together, now I want my calculator, I'm going to add together all of those relevant probabilities starting at 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and finally 10 is going to be equal to 0. So here is starting uh, with 3, so 0 0.2668 plus 0.2001 plus 0.1029 plus 0.0368 plus 0.009 plus 0.014 and plus 0.0001 and the next one is 0. So 0.617 will be our final answer. 617. So what this means is that there's a 61.7% chance that over the next four months at least three of the new hires uh, will quit. <clears throat> okay, that's pretty high. At least three of them are going to quit 61.7% uh, chance. What is the probability that at least uh, five of the new hires will quit? So it's really the same calculation except now I'm not interested in probability of three or four, now I'm just interested in the probability of five, uh, five or more. So we can go through the same calculation, pull up my calculator here again, except now I'm going to start uh, at five, at least five, so five or more. So I'm just going to add up those probabilities. 0.1029 plus 0 0.0368 plus 009, 0014, and 0001, so 15. So much less probability, a much lower chance uh, of five of them leaving, but still a 15% chance that at least five of the new hires uh, will quit in the next four months. Okay, what is the probability that none of them, so four months later I still have all of these new hires. So this is now going to be simply uh, f of zero. Let's uh, start fresh here. So this is going to be f of zero. So we can work this one out by hand. Why don't we do this one the long way? So this is going to be of 10, choose zero successes. 
So this is going to be, uh, what's our probability here? 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 1 minus 0.3 to the power of 0 and 10 minus 0. So here we have 10 factorial, 0 factorial, uh, 10 minus 0 factorial. Uh, nope, something is wrong. This is 0 factorial. And here I'll have 0 0.3 to the power of 0 and 1 minus 0.3 to the power of 10. So this is 10 consecutive failures, which in this context, nobody leaves. Uh, so we have 0.3 to the power of 10. That's a very small probability. It's at five zeros and six. 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros, 6. So almost certain that we won't still have all 10 of these students in four months. What is the expected value of the number of new hires to quit? So what do we expect? Given that we've hired 10 students uh, and 30% generally leave in the first four months, what's the expected number of students that we'll lose? So the expected value is going to be our number of trials times the probability of success. So in this case, I would expect to lose three students uh, in that first four months. Now, st uh, the variance and standard deviation. So the variance is equal to our number of trials times probability of success times the probability of failure. And so here I have 10 trials. Probability of success is 0.3. Probability of failure, 1 minus 0.3. And so that is going to be equal to 10, oops, 10 times 0.3 times 0 0.7, 2.1. 2 2.1 is our variance. And our standard deviation is simply the square root of this. So 1.45. So there we go. I hired 10 students. I would expect to lose three of them uh, in the next four months with a standard deviation of 1.45. So somewhere in that range. OK, I hope that this. Uh, this makes sense. It's a little easier when we can use the binomial distribution tables rather than having to crunch through all of these formulas. But keep in mind, anytime you're looking for a point, uh, point value or a specific number, you're just looking for that one probability. So you may be able to do it calculate uh, through the calculations or looking up in the binomial tables. If you need to, to determine a range, uh, of values, then it's really helpful if you can use those binomial distribution tables. It will save you a ton of time. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.